These beautiful patterns are Cladney patterns. Now there's a much deeper beauty that's not immediately obvious. And that led to the greatest advancement in our understanding of sound. Everything from the cello to the speakers you're hearing can be understood by studying these beautiful shapes. So how could a bow, some plates and sand forever change our understanding of sound? Now this video is sponsored by Science with Matt. Watch at the end to learn more. Now for a violin to sound great, a luthier or a violin maker needs to understand resonance, how the wood responds to different frequencies. Now the more resonant the frequencies, the better the balance of those frequencies. And importantly, the louder it is. And in an age without electrical amplification, this is vital. Now before the 18th century, luthiers had to rely on trial and error to make their instruments. But even for the legendary Stradivari, making one was more of an art than a science. But that changed with the work of the German scientist Ernst Kladny. In the 1780s, having seen the work done by Robert Hooke examining dust patterns on vibrating glass plates, Kladny embarked on a more systematic study of these patterns. By striking the bow across a metal plate with sand, he saw patterns develop. And he noted that when he placed his fingers on different parts of the plates, the patterns changed. He reasoned that this was changing the quality or timbre of the sound, which we now know as harmonics. And it wasn't any frequency that produced these patterns, only specific frequencies caused the plate to resonate, and the shape of the plate itself also altered them. And Ludius took note. Only the right shape of the violin backboard will cause the right resonance and they started using Cladney patterns to diagnose their work. Here, the luthier is diagnosing the backboard using Cladney patterns and tea leaves to guide him in shaping the backboard correctly. So if the shape and dimensions and frequencies determine the pattern, surely there was a mathematical model to explain them. Now, Cladney didn't mathematically describe the patterns, though he did catalogue all the ones he could find. In 1808, he gave Napoleon Bonaparte a demonstration. So enamoured was the Emperor that he sponsored a prize for the best mathematical explanation. Now, an underappreciated mathematician by the name of Sophie Germain entered the competition, and although there were flaws in her solution, her entry was the only one with the correct approach. A full mathematical explanation was produced a number of years later based on Germain's work and that paved the way for a deeper understanding of acoustics and resonance. But even quantum physics has benefited. Edwin Schrödinger relied on Kladny's work to understand electron orbitals, which is the basis of quantum mechanics. Now this demonstration shown in high schools across the world is a beautiful example of resonance. But don't underestimate the deeper beauty of its impact to science. This was the start of the revolution in acoustics, which directly led to the cello you are hearing, and the speakers, and your headphones. It's no accident that Cladney is now known as the father of acoustics. If you've come this far, no doubt, You've appreciated not only the music, but the science of Cladney patterns. And you too can play with Cladney patterns. All the equipment I used, I got from Science With Matt, who is sponsoring this video. Now, apart from being an excellent science teacher, amongst other things, he runs an online store, which sells a large range of scientific equipment for the classroom. Everything from lab supplies to data loggers and physics equipment, and even supplies for rocketry. And he also sells the items you need, such as the Cladney plates, the mechanical wave driver, and the dual channel signal generator. He even sells the bow. And you'll find his prices are very competitive. You'll find the link to his website in the description below. Thanks, Matt. Well, I hope that it has helped you understand Cladney patterns and the deeper science within. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care 
and bye for now.